bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. For three years, you've enjoyed great theater productions in Camden. Now, the South Camden Theater Company will have a new home. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Gorcho, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Joseph Petzicki. Artistic Director of South Camden Theater Company. Our topic today is the 2008 season. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Joe. Before we even get to the 2008 season, let's talk about the new theater that's coming up. Exciting things. Um, in the site of my grandfather's bar at the corner of 4th and Jasper Street, which was actually the setting up my first play, we should be starting construction in March on the new Waterfront South Theater, which is going to be a 99-seat theater right in the heart of the Waterfront South section of Camden. Through a lot of people's generosity, uh, especially Pepe Paperno with the Dominica Foundation and Heart of Camden, headed by Helene Pearson. This looks like it's going to come to fruition and hopefully we'll be in by next fall to open our fourth season in our own brand new theater. Well, how much does this mean to you then in the site and the location where your grandfather was with his bar? How much does this mean? That's incredibly emotional. Um, it's the play is actually going to be the major rebirth of the corner that it's set in. This building had been boarded up for 15 years. Water had been pouring into it. And every time you, I would ride past it and see my grandfather's business just falling apart, um, I always wanted to do something and say, how can we make the something happen here? And the play came along and the inspiration for putting in a small theater. So it's really kind of turning the corner full circle, going from a bar to a theater. Well, how do you go about selecting what plays to write, what plays to produce, and that whole artistic process? What's that mm -hmm. like? Well, what plays to write is really what inspires me as I write my own plays, and I've written over 40. Um, basically, it's I need to know why things happen, so it's motivation is my prime factor. As far as what plays to select for the theater, we want to be a theater that makes you feel something. We want to do plays that when you walk out, something inside of you shifts just a little bit. It makes you see life a different way. Last spring, for instance, last winter, we did The Exonerated, the play about people on death row. And recently, the state of New Jersey has repealed the death penalty, which makes us extremely proud that we were a, not a part of that movement. I mean, we're definitely a part of the movement, but that we did this play a year ago. How important do you think it is then, you know, for people to understand that, you know, plays such as, you know, such as the ones you produce with, with Exonerated can actually shift political action? I mean, wasn't that the point, the point of sometimes creating movies? You see it in films all the time that you see certain Hollywood productions put out to try to you know, create political action, and you're doing the same thing at a, you know, a smaller level but still having a big scale effect. Yeah, theater, theater is so much more powerful. You have the live effect. When we did Exonerated, for example, we had eight act or 11 actors standing in your face 10 feet away telling stories about being put in prison under false pretenses, almost being put to death. So it's very powerful and extremely emotional. That's the kind of work we, we seek at the kind of work that we do at, at South Camden Theater Company. What's the feedback? What's the emotional pull-in from the audience? Do they uh, really interact with the, with the actors? They really do. And with a few of the plays now, with my play Last Rites or, or with Exonerated, or we did five plays a year ago, two years ago now about the war in Iraq, uh, when people walk out, you just something shifted. They're thinking, something's moving, they're emotionally moved. And that's the point of our theater company is get you emotionally involved in the theater process. Well, let's talk about this new season that you're currently in the midst of right now. What are some of the plays you're producing? How'd you go about selecting them? I'm really proud to say we're doing that championship season by Jason Miller, which will open February 1st through the 16th. And we selected that due to personal relationships that, my, that I and Bill Rahill, who's playing the lead in the play, coach, had with Jason Miller, the playwright who died a few years ago. And this play won the Tony, the Pulitzer, the Drama Desk back in the 70s. It's an exciting, powerful play. And after that, we're going to be following in the spring with The Old Settler. It's written by John Henry Redwood. And it's all set in Harlem in the 1940s, about two sisters, and covers the subject of black on black prejudice, something that I had never seen until I saw the play. It's powerful stuff. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. We could go on this forever, but they can contact you at the phone number that they've seen throughout this please entire interview. Call, please call. We'd be happy to answer any questions and sell you some tickets. All right. Thanks again for joining us. This hour's newsmaker has been Joseph Hepsicki, Artistic Director of the South Camden Theater. I'm Joe Gorcha for Comcast Newsmakers.